Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking and walking you through my latest release, which is my book, Companion Journal, the nonfiction edition. As you guys know, I released this book, I believe it was in 2019. It's my book, Companion Journal. And what it is, this is the ultimate way to remember and track your WIP, your work in progress. So if you are a writer and you want to, um, track your progress or you want to keep a memory of the book you are writing this is what this book is for i have different prompts to get you in this right state of mind while you are writing plus i have a place where you can capture the memories so this book is supposed to go in companionship with whatever book you're writing and I decided to create a new one for nonfiction. And the difference is in the prompts that I created. I believe there are different things that we need to focus on as we are writing. So I kept some of the things the same and some of the things are different. So that's what I'm gonna be walking you through today. So as you can see, the cover is obviously different and it says nonfiction edition and both of these are available on Amazon. So basically, you insert the book cover here. So this is the same as it was before. And it has the same information as it had before. And over here it says memory journal. So you write um, the title of your book and your name as the author. And then we go into preparing for mindful writing. So here we go. So the first page is preparing for mindful writing. I have a new image and it always comes with a quote at the bottom. This one says, let go of the old and embrace the new. So the prompts here are what limiting beliefs do you do I need to release? What steps can I take to align with this message? What can I do to get closer to my authentic self? And how can I surrender to the now and forget about the outcome? So this is basically getting your mind ready for writing your nonfiction. It has other prompts as you see here. And it goes on. The next thing, the next page is my writing bucket list. And the quote is, the world is waiting for you to start now. So you basically just write your bucket list, what you wish for this book to achieve. The next one is creating rituals and routines. The quote is time to nourish your mind, body, and soul. So the goal here is to try to get you to get in the right state of mind by creating rituals and routines that feed your mind, your body, and your soul. So some of the prompts here are are my favorite way to tune into a higher vibe is my favorite way to practice self-care is i am at my highest vibrational state in the and then you can say day night or afternoon and i stayed hydrated by drinking these are just prompts that get you inspired to get ready to write your best book with the best state of mind and the prompts continue then this is one of my favorite pages that i added um, prompts that I added that are very different than the ones in the fiction one so this one says about this book and the quote is you are ready to deliver the message then the question is the genre of this book is the sum subgenre of this book is my ideal audiences the page count is I will finish writing this book by what is the tone and mood of this book the theme for this book is the size of the book is and it just goes on to the next page and this is one of my favorite additions i also have about this book but the questions the prompts are a little different in the fiction one sorry i keep hitting the camera <laughs> next we go to creating goals in a plan be confident in your path and we continue with the prompts when will i sit down to write how much or how long will i write each day those are just some of the prompts that um, questions that I have in that section. Next, we have creating triggers, activate the power within. The prompts here are what book or books inspire me to write, what author inspires me to write, what movie inspires me to write, one song that sets the mood for my book is. This one basically stayed the same because it's all about creating triggers. Sometimes, you know, we're not motivated to write. Motivation doesn't really exist unless you 
actively are creating triggers to get you to that point. So maybe if you know what book inspires me to write, maybe you can pick up that book. Or if you know what song inspires you to write, maybe you can start creating a playlist for those songs and you can start your morning off by listening to that and therefore now you're ready to start writing. Next we have, this is also something, a new section that is not included in the fiction one, book chapters and topics. So you have chapter headings and topics for nonfiction. Um, we usually have chapter headings and then the topic that you want to cover in each section. So that's why I select, I picked out these two pages, three pages for you to dedicate that to the, this, these pages. Next, we have tracking the words. This is the same as the one in the fiction journal, but the, the background is a little different. I wanted to just change it a little bit. And then we go into first draft notes. And then we go into more notes. And then we go into capture the memories. And this is one of my favorite parts, as you guys saw in this one. I love cutting out pages and just uh, cutting out pictures and gluing it on these pages and just remembering what I went through while writing my book. So I kept that the same. I kept these pictures the same. I did add uh, another thing. Okay, so remember the journey. I believe that's the same. There's notes that you can take. And then I also added one more page here. I added affirmations need, um, affirmations and it says need a pick me up. And this is for when you're feeling absolutely down and you're not in the mood to write and you're doubting yourself and you know, you're not feeling at your best. Maybe you can reach for the book and pick one of these affirmations for the day and just recite them throughout your day so that it gets you ready to write. So yeah, you guys, this is basically the new journal. If you are writing a new nonfiction for NaNoWriMo, then I encourage you to pick up the journal. I think the prompts will help you get in the right state of mind while you are writing. If you are writing fiction, you could also pick up the book companion journal, the fiction edition, which are both, like I said, available on Amazon. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you love the companion and if you do remember to leave me a review on Amazon because it helps other writers find the book. If you have any questions about the journal make sure you leave it in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. That is it for today's video. I will see you again next week. Until then stay safe.